All right, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about the basics of designing <coughs> stormwater infrastructure and in the context of thinking about volumes, volumes of water that we're trying to withhold from any given event. So in this case here, I'm sitting at a recreational center in McLean. You can see the heck facilities over there. There's a lot of parking. Uh, <coughs> parking space over there a lot of improved surface so there's a lot of runoff being generated and it's draining through that you can see one drainage point coming in here so there's one inlet to this pond here there's another inlet pond over there hope you guys can see it yeah I'll adjust the camera so you can see it it's being raining today I think we got we're supposed to get around one winch I haven't checked my pluviometer yet to see how much we actually got but you know, you can think about this being around half an inch to an inch of rainfall already happened today. You can see our outlet here. So this is the structure that's defining the flow that's coming out. And there's also a little emergency spillway right here that drains it down that way to the stream that's down there. So as you're thinking about here, you want to think about your hydrographs, the volume of water that will get in here, the volume of water that you want it to get out of here. And the amount of time right so think about our inflows hydrograph and how our land development and our land cover changes upstream is impacting runoff and impacting your hydrograph coming down here so you can think about volume and then you can actually calculate the amount of storage that you can get here you can regulate the amount of water that gets out through your hydraulic structure here and if you remember from our reservoir routing we talked about actually putting some numbers to this um, design strategy here but I wanted you to have a visual of that so we have our inflows here our storage capacity and our outflows with uh, defined by the hydraulic capacity of this razor here so I can hear the water flowing so I assume that on the other side there is a way for the water there's a little weir on the other side so we have water coming out at all times of course that's control to keep the level of the pond here at a desired level all right guys